Hi everyone. So, as I film it, as I film this video, it's election day, um, 2024 presidential election in the United States of America. Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump. Yeah, and I don't know. I was just thinking. Um, I guess I like know it seems like a lot of like misinformation being pushed in like a lot of different ways. Uh, last week, Thursday, I did like an open mic comedy thing. And I'll put a video of what I did. You can see if you want to. The topic was mostly, well, one of the main topics I did in the stand-up was um, the, uh, there's like been a thing of reports about black men um, leaving the Democratic Party and avoiding Trump. And you look at the numbers, though, the numbers just don't add up. They just don't, 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 just don't add up. They don't, they just don't add up. At least there, you can say, yes, there's a, some of those shift. Like, not like a big shift, but like a little bit more black people, black men going. Although I think I've seen this really young black people are slightly shifting to the Republican, like conservative. But like, number wise, like, black men are like, the second biggest Democrat voting black and it's like near 80%, depending on what poll you're looking at. It probably just be a little bit under or maybe a little bit above. Uh, you know, um, the only group that votes more heavily for Democrats would be black women. And that's it. And, and, and so I make it interesting how there's all these like, I was like, he's losing black men. And like, and I like, I kind of was wondering, in my stand-up was like thinking of like a setup maybe, like if she, you know, loses and say, ah, oh, lots of black men will, and that could be it, I don't know, but I just, now I'm just thinking it's more, again, I, in my stand-up, I was like bringing other groups that are, have much lower numbers, but you don't hear, oh, you know, like, she's losing this group, you know, she's losing white women or Latinos or whatever, um, even though they might slightly go higher, but I know where that, slap they might slightly vote more Democratic, but nowhere near as much as black men or, you know. Um, so it made me wonder, maybe this is just not so much a scapegoat thing that they made in my act, but maybe just a case of misinformation that they're trying to push. Uh, it could be a scapegoat. Maybe they're hoping that if it's like, hey, the news that black men are voting Trump, that might be somebody might say, hey, the polls are saying that black men are not voting for Trump. Maybe I should vote for him or something. Maybe they're trying to do that. And I, and I say this because I've noticed, and I guess I didn't think about this when I did my act, but I've, uh, recently I had ran across a site and, you know, they were just doing election coverage, like talking about the poll numbers and stuff. And like, oh, like Trump is leading. And he's like, okay. But then I was like, everything was, uh, all this, uh, the videos on the YouTube channel were about Trump, you know, being hit. And that's true, that's true. But I've seen the polls on another thing. It's like, it's either a little bit more closer or in some areas where that, that one site says Trump is hit, they say Kamala's hit. Then I looked at the site and then a few, like, just a few months ago, it wasn't a site about politics. It was, it wasn't even in English. It was like, uh, like, I'm not sure what country, maybe Reggie was like somebody sewing. And it was just somebody's hand, you know, just sewing, someone's grandma. Oh, maybe I don't know how to say the person, but you know, and they're just speaking in Reggie and his foot. It's just like, interesting. Like, why did this site just decide to become talking about from another country, clearly, focus on American politics and have like an AI voice? Talking about poll numbers, it's kind of interesting. And it's also funny if you read like with Google Translate, you can hit like the comments that are like in different languages, you know, whatever language it is. And it's like everything okay. The people like kind of like this, like huh, interesting. It kind of makes you wonder what country it was, but like whatever country the government says, you over there, you have a popular website, uh, YouTube site. We will take the mis mis spread misinformation to affect the American uh, election. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I kind of wonder what happens. If I, if I try to remember the site, I'll see tomorrow if it changes back to be about Diddy. 
But that, that's just crazy. And it's just interesting how that's... We're seeing, like, misinformation. And it's been like that, I think, from start. I know... Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Myth. Well, yeah, like... There's been, like, misinformation with Kamala. And I guess it's probably some Trump. But, like, things like, oh, she... When she was a um, DA, she was like, you know, her goals are like a black man. I'm like, you look at them, nah, not really. I mean, she had a job. And, or, you know, or she's not black. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just, just, you look at her and be like, oh, maybe you can also, you know, she's half black, half Indian. Like, mixed people exist. So it's weird, uh, you know, it's like misinformation. She's not really black, which counts kind of misinformation. Uh, yeah, it, it's just interesting, I think, and like the the black men uh, going Trump is also is I know it's interesting how it played out because like I said it's got covered in uh, the articles you can see and pop up you look at it, um then YouTube things and then even silly stuff like people's black gender war like conversation that even if you know. The gender wars, you know, everyone was like men versus women. This is, you know, slightly hit that, but target to the black community. You've, and it's like a lot of like online groups, even if the groups aren't about gender or relationships or anything like that. Somebody usually pops up on something and then try to bring it in and try to derail the group to focus on that. So you're like, you're in a group and you're like, I'm just here to talk about. You know, black people that like anime or learn stocks or something. You'd be like, why? You know, like, you know, like, but yeah, but like that. And then you got to take that, or people use the gender word like so. It's like, oh, when black men are not going Republican. I'm like a black woman, like I'm getting different from somebody of a different race. And you know, that's anything wrong with interracial relationships. Take whatever you want, but if that's your reason. Statistically speaking, you still probably go with a black guy because they're most likely going to be Democrat. You're looking for somebody in the same political party. It's just weird, you know. But you know, if you find somebody else and you says you said political views and the readers, that's cool. It's just an odd thing that they use that. Like, ah. Ah, like I said, that's part of the misinformation. But, and but yeah, but um, I guess. Just make it because it's something I was thought about and figure to talk about. And maybe if you see it, you're like, oh, I saw this stuff and I was thinking it's true and it had effective vote. Maybe you should quickly try to learn, you know, what's going on before you hit the polls. Hopefully, hey, we should think before that because I know it's late. Uh, the election is going on right now, you know, well, I'm going to put it but today. Um,. Yeah, that's a, I just wanted to talk. Just, that's it. But, um, yeah. And this is about voting. If you haven't voted yet, please go. Vote. Um, bring a friend or relative, family member, foe. Well, probably not the foe. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. It's important. I know that's a couple of videos I've been talking about voting, but it's it's important. I do believe it's important. Um, yeah, this, this, that was just my rant. Um, we have a great day, and hopefully, the turnout will be a good one.